Now let us look at the first example. In this example, we are going to determine how the price may go down or up after implementation of GST in a transaction. So this example is based on the Delhi restaurant's bill. So the bill is 1000 rupees food bill, cost of a meal before taxes. So obviously all restaurants is going to charge service charge. It's not mandatory but every restaurant is keeping charging it. So service charge of 100 rupees is added. Then value added tax at 12.5% is added to it. So this on the food bill and service charge together, not only on the food bill. This is 137.5 rupees is derived from 1000 rupees plus 100 rupees and on the 1100 rupee into 12.5% it will come 137.5%. Then service tax of 5.6% that is 40% of the food bill is taxed that is 61.5%. 6 rupees and two sets like Swachh Bharat sets and Krishi Kalyani sets both 0.2% is added that is 2.2 plus 2.2 so summing up all these things 1000 plus 100 plus 137.5 plus 61.6 plus 2.2 plus 2.2 you will get a total bill of 1303.5 rupees next we come to the GST bill here you'll be having only one tax that is GST and a service charge. Service charge is same 100 and GST 18% of the food bill. That's it. So 1100 that is inclusive of service charge into 18% that is 198. 198 plus 100 plus 1000 you'll get 1298 rupees so comparing these things you will get 5.5 rupees lesser bill after implementation of gst it is very meager if you see this transaction but it will be very high when comparing to cars and all so if the transaction goes for lakhs and lakhs it will be reduced uh, in some of the cases this will be re in the reverse side the total bill may go up if the tax levels are higher than the present uh, all-inclusive tax. That means if the VAT plus service tax plus CESS will come to 15% and the GST is 18% means obviously the bill will go up. So in this case, the bill is coming down. So this example we have seen only to understand how all the taxes are uh, presented as one single GST. So now let us see this second example. Here we will see a classic example of one software production company is producing a product and is pricing the product at 1000 rupees. So the manufacturer price is 1000 rupees. So in that in the present system excess duty of 12.5% and VAT of 5% is added. Here VAT of 5% will be added to the manufacturer price as well as to the excise duty component. So the total will be 1181 rupees. In the proposed GST system, it will be one single tax GST of 18%. So it will be 1180 rupees. So uh, this software product next moves to the wholesaler otherwise distributor. So the distributor obviously adds 10% profit margin. So here comes in current taxation system add 10% profit margin it will come to 1299. So there will not be a big difference in the GST also because the price is very almost semi cut 1181-1180. So here also 118 rupees added. 1298 is the price in GST. So here when he is selling to the uh, stores, retail stores, he again needs to pay two taxes in current taxation system that is service tax of 15% and VAT of 5%. So both together will add 260 rupees to the price. So it is 1559 rupees. 
When it comes to GST, it's single taxation system, GST of 18%. You save directly 2% here. Okay, so 234 rupees is added here in GST system, 1532. Next, the store will be selling it to the, the software product will be sold to the end client, end customer. So uh, the store will also add their margin of 10%. So adding 10% to the 1,559 rupees, it will come down to 1,715 rupees. In GST, 1,532 into 110%, it's 1,685, 1,685 rupees. So at last, the customer also need to pay tax. In current tax system system, it is service tax of 15% plus VAT of 5%. The total price will be 2058 rupees. In proposed GST system, it will be 1988 because it is 18% only. So put together the end price of a thousand rupees priced, the manufacturer priced item will go up to 2058 rupees in current tax system and 1988 rupees in GST system. So one can save 70 rupees if GST is implemented, that is 3.4% savings from the current system. Now we have understood that there may not be major impact if the rates are kept at same level, but the government will always be keen to safeguard the tax level so that it does not lose any revenue out of it. However, GST still has some great advantages when it's implemented. Uh, like replacing all major indirect taxes excluding customs duty and some parts it will remove cascading effect on taxes wherever it is not done in the earlier itself and it reduces the flow of unaccounted sales thus reducing black money. The whole India turns as a single market because GST will be there everywhere. Though it is projected as a game changer it has a few disadvantages like as advertised, it is not single taxation, still it has CGST, SGST, IGST which are taxed separately. State may lose revenue. Many considerations are taken uh, to overcome this. Tax system can only improve the nation on paper. Real growth does not depend upon the taxation methods. Ok friends, thank you for watching the video, please give a thumbs up to the video and share with your friends. Thank you.